Good morning, parents. So I am in between conferences and decided that I wanted to make a video to help you know about the letter formation. So we actually took a week off from spelling and we're gonna continue this week just practicing how to form our letters. Um, students are having some trouble actually making their letters and forming them the correct way within this three line system with the solid, the dotted, and the solid line. Um, so I'm just gonna explain to you some of the vocabulary that, Larry, that we use and hopefully you can, um, if you're working with your child at home and you notice that they're forming some letters wrong, you can use some of this vocabulary as well. So I'm gonna start by first just showing you the house form. So whenever we talk about forming our letters, we talk about using the house paper. So we draw a house within these lines and the top line to this dotted line is technically called your roof. So whenever we talk about capital letters, we talk about them going all the way up to the roof. Um, from this dotted line to this solid line on the bottom, this is considered your first floor. So we've got the ceiling as the dotted line and the floor is the solid line. And then down here, the letters that go down below are considered basement letters. This is going down into the basement. So I'm going to just move on and kind of show you how I expect students to be forming their letters. We always talk about forming our letters from the top. And so a lot of times, especially with the letter F, students are starting from the bottom and going up, which is not correct. So I'm just gonna show you the way that I expect students to make their letters so that this is something you can work on at home. So for the capital letter A, we want to start at the top. We want to start all the way at the roof. We want to go down, down, across, just like that. For the lowercase letter A, we talk about never picking up our pencil. Whenever you create the letter A, you never ever pick up your pencil. I'm gonna show a little dot as to where I expect students to actually start their pencil, kind of in between in the middle of the ceiling and the floor. And they're gonna go up to touch the dotted line, down to touch the floor, straight up and straight down. One thing that I don't want students to do is I don't want them to create this letter A and put a big little curly Q at the end. That's not how I want them to be making it. The capital B, we talk about starting at the top. This is a roof letter. Go all the way down, trace it back up, around, around. So students should never pick up their pencil until they're completely finished with forming this letter. Same thing with the lowercase letter B. This is one that students kind of have a little bit of trouble with because they mix up their B and their D. Whenever we're making our lowercase letter B, we are starting at the top, all the way down, trace halfway up, around, and pick up your pencil. So students should not be picking up their pencil. I'm gonna turn the page and show you the next letters. Okay, with our letter C, we want students to be making sure that they're starting at the very top. We're gonna start up, around, down. That's our capital, because it goes into the roof. And our lowercase is formed the exact same way. It just goes to the ceiling instead of the roof. Capital D is a roof letter. We start at the very, very top, all the way down, trace all the way up and around. I should never pick up my pencil till I'm finished. Lowercase d, we're going to go all the way down, up, around, finish. So I just did this to show you that sometimes this happens with students. I want you to try to avoid this and make sure that you're stressing with students that they should go all the way around but not as, try as best as they can to not create this space into the basement. Next letter. Their letter E, they're going to start by making the top and the bottom lines first. So without picking up their pencil, then they have to pick up their pencil. Lowercase letter, this is a tricky one. Usually students form it like this, which is not correct. We want them to start with this straight line. This is not how we make our letter E's in second grade. We start in the middle so without picking up your pencil, that is how you make your letter E. So straight line across, up to the dotted line, down to the solid line, then you pick up your pencil. The letter F, just like you start your letter E, you're gonna start at the top, go over, down, pick up your pencil, over. Lowercase F, 
Most of the time students do this. They start from the bottom and then go up. That's not how we want them to make it. We want them to start from the top, up, down, over. Next letter. G, once again, we're starting at the top. Up, down, around, just like a C, up to the dotted line and straight line over, never picking up your pencil. The lowercase g is a basement letter. It goes down into the basement. So this loop should not be, this is not how we make a lowercase g. Some students are doing that. We don't want that. This is how we make our g, just like we make the letter a, around, straight up, straight down and loop it. H, pretty self-explanatory, top line, top line, cross. Lowercase h is kind of like a lowercase b. Down, trace up, around. Letter I is your straight line and your two across. Students usually don't have trouble with that one and students usually don't have trouble with this one. Capital J is just like a lowercase, except it goes into the roof. And across, lowercase j is a basement letter. Capital K, start at the top, all the way down. Pick up your pencil. Find the line, lowercase letter k, start at the top, go down, pick up your pencil, this stays below the line, L, starting at the top, down over, this one's easy, start at the top, M, so I don't want the McDonald's golden arches here. That's not our capital M. So that's usually what we're seeing is we're seeing the golden arches from McDonald's. We want to explain to students that whenever we make our M, we're actually going to start this letter at the bottom. We're gonna start at the bottom, go all the way up, down to the dotted line, up to the roof, down to the floor. Once again, from the bottom, up to the roof, to the dotted line, up to the roof, to the floor. Lowercase m. Once again, this is not the M that we want. These are not the M's that you're supposed to make. You notice that there is that straight line that happens first. So you're gonna start at the dotted line, go all the way down, trace back up, over, over. I also notice that students sometimes do this and they create this little gap right here. We don't want to create that gap. We wanna go down, up, down, trace back up, down. And we're also going to start this letter from the bottom. We're gonna go straight up, down, straight up. Same thing with this. We're going to start it down, trace it up the line and down to the floor. Sometimes students are doing this with their N and they're creating this really big gap here. We wanna to try to avoid those gaps. So we wanna make sure that when they're going down, they're tracing right back up to that other line so that you notice that there's no gap. letter O. Just draw a circle. Oops, Miss Collins made a mistake. We don't want that. Same thing with the lowercase letter O. The letter P. This is usually one that's a little bit tricky. We start at the top, go down, trace back up, and around. Students should not be picking up their pencil for this. Sometimes you see something like this where the students kind of go in between the lines. We wanna make sure that this loop stays above the line and it doesn't go all the way below. Lowercase p is a basement letter. You form it just like a capital. Down, trace up and over. Q is just like an O with the line. O with the line. Goodness gracious, Ms. Collins is making mistakes. O with the line. The lowercase q, you wanna start it like you're making your letter A, straight up, straight down, and it's kinda of like the backwards letter G and you do a little loop-de-loop. -loop. Capital R, do not pick up your pencil, down, up to the top, 
around and down. Lowercase letter r, just like we're forming that letter m and n. Straight line down, trace it all the way up, and then go around. I don't want this. That looks like a V to me. I don't want this gap. I really have to keep away from doing that gap. Soon done, guys. Sorry it's taking so long. Your S, we need students to make sure that they're not just starting here and doing that. We want to get this top curve. So whenever students are starting with their S, they should start like right where I put that dot on the paper. They should know to go up to touch the top, down to touch the bottom. A lot of times students are starting at the top and are just doing something like that and they're missing the top half of their letter. Same thing with the bottom. Starting kind of in the middle, up to touch the dotted line, down to touch the solid. Up to touch the dotted line, down to touch the solid. Capital T, we do have to pick up our pencil for. Lowercase t, we do have to pick up our pencil for. U, we want to start at the top, go down, around, up, trace it down. I never pick up my pencil. I don't want to see this. That's not a U. I don't want the gap. Same thing with the lowercase. Down, around, up, trace, down. Try to avoid the gap. V, making sure that we have a point here. Sometimes students get a little bit sloppy and they do something like that, or they make it curved. I don't want it to look like that. I want it to be very sharp. Down, up, sharp. Same thing with the bottom. Down, up, sharp. W is another one that we kind of get the, the little upside down arches. We usually get some of that, or we get this. I want them to be very neat and straight. Notice that this W uses the roof, the floor, and the ceiling. So we've got from the top, from the roof to the floor, up to the ceiling, down to the floor, up to the roof. Never picking up my pencil. Same thing here, touching the dotted line every time. Down, up, down, up. X, obviously we need to pick up our pencil. Little x goes to the roof, or to the ceiling and the floor. Y, we do need to pick up our pencil for. Pick it up. Draw it down. Same with this y. We draw our first line here, and then we take the next part into the basement. And then our letter z. We start and we make our zigzag, never picking up our pencil. Sometimes students do this. I want you to try to make sure that this lines up and this lines up. Same thing with the lowercase. Across, come down to where you started the first and then down. This should line up and this should line up. Alrighty, hopefully this helps. And hopefully your kids can start to form their letters correctly. My biggest thing is knowing which lines to go to because a lot of times we're getting some unknowns with some of our letters and they're just kind of writing them anywhere. We want to make sure that we're really using the lines that are provided for us. Have a great day.